right, so you just did your very first uh, static image in QLab. Um, now I'm going to show you the most important feature that was added a few years ago, which is the audition window. You probably already know this from the um, uh, audio series that you may have hopefully watched already. Uh, video is going to be a little bit different with some more features, and I'm going to show you that right now. So. Most of the time that I'm programming my show, I am not using an actual a screen or a projector. 99% uh, of the time, I'm programming on a plane on the way to the venue. Why? Because I have to sit there for five hours, so why not get some work done? A um, couple years ago, this was impossible. You actually had to have a physical surface connected to the to the QLab screen to make it work. When our audition, uh, audition window came into play, it opened up a world of possibilities. Um, I'm going to show you right now how to program with Audition Window, uh, which is just phenomenal. So we're going to go here and we're going to go to Window, and we're going to click Audition Window. Now the shortcut for that is uh, Shift, Command, and A. Uh, in this case, I'm going to show you where it is. So Audition Window, and that pops up that window right here. Now we're going to uh, keep this window down here in the bottom, and I want to show you uh, as I showed you in the audio series, I want to show you in the uh, in this video series right now in case you didn't remember. Um, this little float button, I like to keep checked. That's another brand new addition that wasn't there about a year ago. Uh, the float button prevents it from doing this. So let's say you have your audition window and you're trying to watch your video for timing or whatever it is, and you click to make an edit, and now your window is stuck behind and you can't see it. Uh, by clicking the audition window again, and clicking float, no matter what you click on your screen, um, it's always going to stay on top. So even your finder window will stay behind that, which is just phenomenal. Okay, so I'm going to show you the uh, the same thing by just moving that there. I will say I wish that QLab would have created a a, a workspace where the audition window would have snapped nicely into something like this so I could move the window where it would always be there. Um, unfortunately, unless there's a way to do it that I don't know, please tell me, um, I always see it as a separate window. Now, a huge advantage that I do a lot is I do like to have a full workspace when I'm not recording my screen for you. QLab is a full screen, gives me a lot more options to see, which then the audition window is usually in the way. Um, I use an app called Duet. And if I can find it here, oops, do it. <laughs> Duet. It looks just like that. Um, it is the best secondary screen app that I currently have found. Uh, there are some other ones that are wireless. They're always glitchy and have huge problems, in my opinion. Um, but I use Duet, and basically, I take my my iPad uh, Pro or my iPad Mini or my iPhone if I'm on a plane. And I can plug it in using the simple um, lightning cable that comes with it. And uh, not only does it charge it, but it also uh, connects to your computer as a secondary surface. So the same way that you see your secondary screen, you're going to see that secondary surface uh, on your settings. And then QLab can recognize it as well. I do not use it as a secondary surface for QLab because the dimensions of an iPad are never going to match the dimensions of a uh, regular screen that you're going to use. So all I do is make it a separate surface and then I use my addition window. As you can see, I can drag it off the screen right now. And if I drag it, I can actually drag it right over to this TV. And now my audition window, I can then resize it uh, by hitting the plus sign there or by physically dragging it. And now that I go full screen in my iPad, set my iPad right to the left of my computer and there is my secondary screen that's very mobile, very easy to use. So I always suggest to use Duet with uh, Audition Window if you don't have a second surface because it creates the illusion of a second surface and it's great. If not, of course, you can do it on the screen like we're going to do right now. So uh, we're going to fire our first image that we already, at already added. And now you can see it right there in Audition Window. As you can tell, it fits perfectly. And uh, the advantage to Audition Window is if you're using a single surface, you can see what it's going to look like when you add your second PNG image. In this case, I'm going to fire my logo, which goes beautifully right on top of that, like so. Now, as you can see, both of these images are full screen. They're full service, surface down here. 
and it says preserve aspect ratio. And you'll notice that my logo is a perfect circle. By the way, if you want to make this bigger, you can click fit and it goes full size, or you can uh, simply go there and type in 100% and it zooms in. Uh, no matter what size you make this window, it'll stay 100%. Uh, in my case, I like to keep it at fit. Now, um, as you can see, that fits just perfectly, and it looks like it's one static image. So this is phenomenal because now the backdrop of your show has a beautiful red curtain with a gorgeous a um, uh, logo of your show or your name in it. Uh, and by the way, if you want something like this, um, that's also another option I uh, provide as well, is for people who want me to program their shows, I can create really basic logos and titles and text and video backdrops for you. So if you want that, message me right now or when you're done with this video and I can give you some answers and give you some uh, content to actually show in your QLab presentation. Uh, but anyway, back to this. So it's very simple. We're going to hit stop and uh, everything fades out automatically and you now have a beautiful uh, layered uh, version of your imagery in QLab using Audition window so you can see what's going on. Got it? Awesome. Let's go to the next video.